Hey, all right. First lesson of the year. I'm so excited. Um, it's just like getting to do school again is always very excited. I wish this was all in person, but it is what it is. Um, at least we get to do some education and learn something and stop being bored while we watch Netflix or whatever it is we're watching all the time. But um, let's dig right in. This is unit one. So you should have an index card. Remember, you're supposed to have um, a lot of index cards. I would recommend a couple packs of them. I had a little video on that, so you should be good to go. Um, but in the upper right-hand corner of your card, go ahead and write 1.1. That's going to stand for Unit 1, Card 1. All right, And we have uh, several ideas that we're going to go through here that are uh, ideals of American democracy, things that um, have been ideal since the beginning, and they're debated rigorously even today. Um, and, and you're going to uh, go ahead and, and write the word on the front side of the card. We're going to flip it over. We're going to write the definition real quick. I'm going to jump to the next one, and then we'll have some practice after we're done. So this can be pretty quick, pretty easy, and uh, here we go. By the way, at any moment, of course, if I go too fast, just pause the video. That's the beauty of the video. You can just pause the darn thing anytime. Do not, however, speed ahead because you're going to miss some of the context I give you in some cases that, that you're going to need. Okay, here we go. Limited government. Um, that is in a democratic ideal. So, f by the way, this is going to be the same thing on all of these cards. You're going to write democratic ideal as basically the first um, answer here. And then the limited government means this. We define it as a system of government where the power of government is restricted by law or a written constitution. A system of government where power of government is restricted by law or a written constitution. I will usually reread re the definitions uh, two or three times. And that's so that way, as you're writing, you can just listen to me. And um, and that way you can just keep writing. You don't have to keep looking up or down. Um, and by the way, always feel free to abbreviate. So like government, I would always abbreviate that GOV or GOV apostrophe T, something like that. But I'll read it one more time. System of government where power is restricted by law or written constitution. So this, again, this is historically, if you go back in history, most places never had a written constitution. Constitution. The government had um, could do anything to you at any time it wanted. And frankly, there's still a lot of countries in the world that are still like that. Um, there's no limit on, on a lot of countries on what they could do to you. Um, and even you know a place like North Korea, I mean, you could just be sent to a concentration camp because the government wants to. But our government is based on the idea that law, specifically the law that's in the Constitution, um, limits the government. The government just can't do anything it wants. All right, so limit of government. So that's the first one. Okay, here we go. Card two, grab it. Um, upper right-hand corner, remember one for unit one, two for card two. And we have the idea of natural rights. You probably are familiar with this from um, U.S. history. I'm sure you probably learned this in U.S. history. This foundational idea of, of natural rights, it became very, very popular during the Enlightenment period of the 1600s and 1700s. All right, backside flip. Um, it's a democratic ideal. I told you that would be the first thing on every single card. If you just want to write dem for democratic, that's fine with me. All right, number two. All right, uh, definition. It's 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 a the idea that the, you have rights that you're born with. Um, in the 17th, 18th centuries, this definitely had the idea of they were God given. Um, that as soon as you are born. You are given these rights. Um, and the idea is that government can't take these away. These are rights that you are assured just because you're human. Um, and therefore, the government is not going to be able to mess with these rights. Uh, and among these are, of course, as Jefferson wrote. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me check that. Jefferson wrote Life, Liberty, and Pursuit of Happiness. But as John Locke wrote, um, who actually formulated the idea of natural rights in, in a book in the 17th century, John Locke wrote uh, Life, Liberty, and Property are the three fundamental God-given natural rights that government cannot violate um, unless, unless really you've committed a crime. Um, in those cases, then obviously you can lose your life or your liberty or maybe your property. All right, cool. So natural rights. Um, put that card aside. Grab the next one. Social contract, 1.3. One is in unit one. Three is in card three, social contract. All right, flip it over. Pause it if you need to write. Um, democratic ideal. Promised you that. There it is. Woo! -hoo! All right, cool. And um, it's an agreement 
It's an agreement. It's, it's, remember, it's got the idea of social, meaning between people. And then you have this idea of contract, which is like a, a legal document between two parties. So we have an agreement between people and government. Those are two parties. You have the people and the government in which citizens will consent, meaning give permission. You might even underline consent and put permission to be governed. All right. So I'm not done yet. But that's the first part. All right, an agreement between – I always abbreviate between with BW um, – people in the government in which citizens will consent to be governed so long as government protects their natural rights. So we say to the government, you can govern us. You can make law. That's what it means to be governed so long as you protect our natural rights. Cool. That is social contract. Um, our, our constitution is a social contract. Our constitution is our social contract. We're, we're saying here's the here's what government can do, and government you must protect our rights. So we lay out you know those rights that are in there. All right, good. Pause if you need to. Otherwise, we're moving on. Republicanism, um, by the way, this has nothing to do with the party known as the Republican Party. This is actually an idea. Um, so one point four republicanism. Here we go. Democratic ideal. Democratic idea. You might abbreviate it again, Dem or Demo or something. All right, here we go. It's a principle that elected leaders represent the will of the people. It's a principle that elected leaders will represent the will of the people. It's a principle, again, that elected leaders represent the will of the people. So we elect leaders and they're supposed to represent us and they're supposed to try to represent like the things that we want. If they don't, then we kick them out. You know, as I always say, um, we don't like what the bums are doing in Congress. We can kick the bums out and elect new bums. All right. Uh, last card of this unit, this lesson, I should say. No, I thought the unit. Sorry. Of the lesson. Let me be clear about that. All right. Uh, it's popular sovereignty. Okay. There's a mouthful. Popular sovereignty. Popular sovereignty. You may have heard of this in U.S. history um, as an idea before the Civil War, and they uh, a lot of pro-slavery people or they were trying to um you know compromise on slavery and say well you know we'll let each state decide you know whether it has slavery or not and that led to bleeding kansas it didn't work out real great um but popular sovereignty has to do with people being popular and sovereignty meaning power so it's a democratic ideal you might have already wrote that because you knew it was coming uh it's principle that ultimate power resides in the consent of the governed the people it's the principle that the ultimate power resides in the consent of the governed and we do that through voting so voting is the way that um we give consent remember so principle that ultimate power resides in the consent of the governed consent meaning permission governed meaning the people and then we give our consent through voting all right, that's five cards right there. That's a pretty long lesson for me. Um, a lot of times we only do like three, but maybe the cards are a little harder. Um, you need to study these. You need to sit down, actually go through them and study them and cover them up. And, you know, just like you would with any index card, some of you might even want to uh, type them into, uh, you know, some uh, practice thing like quizzes or something and, and be able to have a game um, or Quizlet. Quizlet would be a good place to do it and then practice them. Okay. Cause you need to know them for the practice. All right. We got some practices coming up. Go ahead and do those. And then remember, um, you always have to take a screenshot of a practice that you finish and then make sure that I can see the name of the, of the practice and then send that to you, put that and send that to me. So I have it. All right, great. Thanks guys. Bye.